Hello guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. Uh, this is my very first video here on YouTube and I'm really happy and really excited because this was something that I wanted to do a long time ago and I think now is the perfect time to do it. And I would like to introduce myself. My, I'm, my name is Jose Diaz. I'm a mechanical engineer and I have been working on this type of, of systems for almost eight years. And I think I have some experience. And for me, education is, is something that has to be shared. And I remember when I was a beginner engineer, I didn't find any information or much information about this on YouTube. And it was more difficult to do it. I think with this important tool, um, it's awesome that you can help people and share the, the, the information you want you want so i hope you like it and I, I hope to follow me along this course because i i we i'm going to be uh, developing the full course from the initial phase until the very last phase so stay tuned because i will be uh, uploading the the next videos uh, really soon and i hope Another thing I would like to apologize because English is not, it's not my first language and my first language is Spanish. So if, if you don't understand anything I'm saying or if you need, if you want me to repeat anything, just let me know. I would be happy to read your comments. This is a channel to, to grow up together. I want to, I have a lot of information that I have to, that I want to share with you. And I will be really happy to read your comments or anything you want to say about it. So please do it because I will be happy to do it. So the scope or content of this course of, or maybe of, of these lessons is, first of all, the required information. When you are doing this type of project, you will need a specific information that will be, that will be um, helpful and that, that in, in, in your design and um, you initially how you can receive uh, this or how you can start this this type of projects you will receive a request from your client your client could, could be maybe an architect could be the owner of the company could be the um, the maybe not i don't know the project manager of the of the construction construction company so you will you will receive the, the request from them. So in, in that initial meeting, you will need to ask, I don't know, whoever is in charge of the, of the, of the design phase, the, the information, specific, specific information that you need. So I will teach you here which information, which information you need and because you will need to maybe make a list so this that will that will be the first thing I'm going to teach you here. After that, we're going through the AutoCAD drawings. This is not a, a, a full AutoCAD course, but I'm going to teach you which are the the more common tools or to to, to make drawings like a, like a, this one but I'm, that we're going to do or that we're going to make um Basically, we are going to start from zero uh, until we, we finish a, a drawing like this one. And on this drawing, will we make our, dis our design? The third time, the third thing we are going to learn how to perform thermal loss calculation. I'm going to teach you how to perform a thermal load calculation by using a software like this one. It's really easy and simple, but you will need, like, like you see here, um, some information that is, is, the, is what I'm going to teach you on the first step. So we are going to perform the thermal load calculation by using a software, and then we're going to perform a pressure losses calculation. It's important, if we, if we are having a dot work, it is important to perform a pressure losses because that will tell you how the, the air is is uh, is behaving on the on the 
on the on your dot work and that behavior uh, will allow you to to select your equipment properly and so this we're going to learn that also here in this course on this course we're also going to learn how to perform a exhaust fans calculations we're going to select a the proper exhaust system because maybe in, in your in your project you have a, a kitchen or restroom that need to rem to remove some contaminants from the air so it would be really helpful to to, to select or to calculate the, this type of, of, of system properly. Then we will select our equipment and devices selection. Equipment and devices selection, we are going to select which ARC unit do we need, what is the best brand for our uh, project, and we also we are going to select devices like uh, diffusers, return grills, and maybe uh, dampers that are really important devices on your design. So we are going to learn that as well. Once we select the equipment, we are going to work on the shop drawings. The shop drawings is something like you see on the image. Uh, it's a, it's a, the drawings that we that we we are going to send to the um, workshop in order to build all the the dot work and and this is the the drawing that we're going to give to the uh, construction company or the or the subcontractor company in order to install the the, the system properly. It's, this is a very important. Um, Based on our design, because every everything have to be done properly, and the coordination with the other trays have to be done properly. So um, we have to take a look in detail in on on this phase. Once we finish the shop drawing, we are going to to uh, make make a equipment schedule and material list. Are really important. The equipment schedule will be really helpful not just for us but also for the other trades in order to make all the preparations that we need. And the material list is the, is the, the specification that we're going to need in order to ask for quotation to, to our providers in order to, to give a, a very accurate um, cost of all the project to, to the, our client. Finally, we are going to make a the technical specification and the final delivery to the clients. The technical specification is that document where we are going to put everything together, the calculations, the um, uh, equipment schedule, submittals, material list, costs and drawings, everything we're going to put is our final deliverable, deliverable to our, our client. And also I'm going to teach you, or I'm going to give you some tips how you can perform a, a presentation of your project to your, your client. It's important, well, once we finish the, the project, deliver a, a, a great presentation of our project that will give us a, an important value uh, that will give you, um, I don't know, something like uh, something that will impress to to our client because as a professional you have to be sure that your client is happy and everybody's happy and I think when you perform a, a great presentation everybody will be really thankful and for sure you are going to find more more jobs like this one so basically this is the content or of these um, tutorials or maybe or of these uh, courses so stay tuned because i will be uploading the the other videos soon and i would like to have your support so if you can subscribe to my channel that will allow you allow me to 
to keep doing these type of things. And again, I will be really happy to read your comments and everything you, you want to say about this. Or maybe any recommendation you have, I will be happy to, to read. So, well, my friend, um, stay safe. We are living a really tough uh, times. And enjoy the life and take care. I hope to see you soon. Bye.